Chatsa. And I'm Chats. And we are late to the party, and this is one half of KO Corruption. And Chance, man, congratulations on your victory in New York City. Thank you. It was a hard fought. It was a hard fought match, and I'm glad I pulled the one out. I was very happy so to I was very happy to see the level of intensity and effort that both of you guys put into that match. Uh, because it did make it just neck and neck for us. Wish we would have done a reaction to it. Schedules are crazy. I believe yours is too. Yeah, yes, yes it is. It's this man, New York City, first time ever. Oh, yeah, New York is fantastic. The crowd was great. Uh, maybe the best live show ever done so far. Like, it's, I'm not just saying that because I'm in it. I'd be saying that <laughs> if I was in it or not. It was, it was a great show. Definitely a great show just for New York because that was their inaugural uh, step into the world of the live Schmodown. Yeah. Coming soon, we've got another live Schmodown coming up. Yes, the free for all. Free for all. And Star Wars Celebration. <laughs> Chicago, so there's two. Battling it out right now for the ticket sales. Uh, and yeah, New York put everyone to shame. Chicago's doing a very nice job at keeping up uh, the battle in terms of how many sold. Uh, which is good, which is great, because that's exactly what we want to see, is that... Um, that their investment in going out of LA and going to these other places like New York, like Chicago, it really shows that, okay, maybe we can have the opportunity to go to these places because there is a market for those when they go. In LA, we've got our, our opportunity as well with the free-for-all. We'll be there definitely in tow. Chance, I know you're going to be out of town for that one. Yeah, I'm not going to be in the free-for-all this as year. As is Josh which... McCuga. I think you guys really? Both, yeah, he's got a wedding to go to. Quite oh, alive, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, he isn't going to be there. But we will definitely be on hand at the free-for-all. Don't know if we're going to be in it yet, man, because it's tight. The, definitely the market is tight right now for competitors, especially if you're going 35 or, as Christian said, around 40, according to Collider Live. Sorry, Eric from Nerd Chronic. Poor guy, he built the promo, and then Christian's like, maybe 40. And he's like, damn it! Like, damn it, Christian! Because you know those promos are sick. Those promos are sick that Eric does over at Nerd Chronic. Oh, they're great. That, that sucks for Eric. He's like, okay, I got you think we're 35 ready. Oh, it might be 40. What? <laughs> it sucks, man. So much effort, but I'm sure it's Eric, man. He can get it done. Yeah, sure. But today we have a battle of the ages in the inner geekdom world. So, Vanessa, take it from here because you know who's in this battle. Adam Plavik and... Rachel Cushing. The Crusher. <laughs> I'm even wearing my Shirewolf shirt today because... Yeah, I love... She wears a Shower Wolf shirt a lot. I do. I like this shirt. It's, it's a good... good I picked this color for a reason because I love this color. And it's a good fit. You know, get yourself one at tpublic.com. Anyways, but yeah. Right I, the I, I, used, I do watch... I do wear this shirt a lot. And I also like to, you know, promote to say, hey, look at their team champions. Definitely our team champions. <laughs> and Rachel the Crusher Cushing very closely getting to that chance for the Inner Geekdom belt in that epic battle between her and Mara Kanopic. But we've got Rachel Cushing finally getting that opportunity to maybe push towards that title once again. And we're doing it through Adam Plavik. Mm -hmm. Adam Plavik. Adam Plavik. Adam Plavik. <laughs> it's fun to say. By the way, little insight. At the Schmodan Awards, me and Vanessa figured out how to say the names on the nomination sheet so that way it landed on me, on myself, so that way I could pronounce it correctly. Yeah, because I didn't want to butcher your last name, so I was like, okay, <laughs> Adam, Adam I'm, going, I'm going first so that way you get that name. <laughs> but yes, Adam Plavik, who has put in a hell of an effort, and I can't wait to see what he has against Rachel the Crusher Cushing in this bout. So, hashtag who you got. Oh, you already know who I got. I got Rachel. The Crusher Cushing. Okay, first of all, let me just say, it doesn't matter who wins this because, well, winner of this goes on to face my partner, Mike Yalanowski, for the title. It doesn't matter who it is, he's going to retain the belt anyways, but for this case in particular, I got to I gotta say, when I say here, I got to go Cushing. Cushing. So, with me, I've, we've seen Adam Plavik come very close before, and Adam Plavik, it just really depends on the amount of effort he's put into his training, as much as Rachel does, because Rachel is definitely fighting for it. I don't know if Adam is business as usual on the week and weekends, and then just when a Shmodan pops up, here it is. That's how kind of I take the approach to it. Now, Vanessa, though, she's more like Rachel, where she's studying, writing notes down. So, I would say, because I know for a fact that Rachel does that, I have to go also with Rachel the Crusher Cushing in this battle. Boom, boom, boom. So we are going to get into, I know it was a long preface, but it was well deserved because we had a lot to talk about. So let's get into the battle between Adam Plavik and Rachel the Crusher Cushing now. Yeah. 
a commish has entered the building. Oh. Part for life! Okay. Nice I love my sweater. Is Carter a sweater? Yes. First of all, thank you for everything you've been doing with Patreon. Oh, thanks, and yeah. I mean, Rianne with big shoes to fill. Yes. And you were able to do that, and it is... She got them up and running. Amazing to watch the fans respond to you, everything that you've done. Yeah, it's a really nice community of people we have. It really is. So I brought you here today for a couple of reasons. Um, first is to congratulate you on the amazing win back in December. Oh, yes. Thank was, you very much. You <laughs> me. It was, a, it was a good win. Um, and like I said to you that day, in, in the, for the World Series, they used to call Reggie Jackson Mr. October, Mr. October. Or now henceforth called Ms. December. <laughs> you should be. I didn't take your fucking ball. You did. I was just wishing you luck today. A bit of an issue oh, thanks. Has come up in regards to you being the commissioner. Okay. Um, Where's that I from, mean, everybody? Come I on. I want to know what it is because I obviously really want to be the commissioner, even though I didn't. I don't think I knew I wanted to be. I I, I kind of got into it because I just didn't want Tom to be the commissioner. No, that's, uh, a, that's a very valiant reason to do it, to be honest with you. But here's the problem. Now, as chairman, of, I realize now that I have to make a bit of difficult decisions. Mm -hmm. There is a huge conflict of interest as you, as the team's commissioner, an intergeekdom commissioner. Mm -hmm to manage and be commissioner when the team champion... Give her team, or give her inner geekdom, y'all. Oh, and damn. Um, it is not fair to the rest of the league. Give her inner geekdom. So you, I'm going to give you a choice. This. Your choice is, and I'll be okay with either one, yeah. you can continue to be the manager of the Fight Club and manage your competitors, or you can go ahead and you can become the commissioner of the team's league. Choice of <laughs> Okay. I mean, obviously, it's a lot to think about. Cause no, give her inner geekdom. It's very important to me. Yeah, but I it's also a conflict. She doesn't have to compete anymore. Exactly, but it's a conflict of interest because she's a manager, exactly, but but a of, interest 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 she's a manager of the team. She hasn't won the belt yet. But I also. It could, could be, be though. She's, she's in contention. It means a lot to me to be the first lady commissioner of the league. So, I, uh, I, I, I will make a decision very soon. Here's what you do. How about this? Take your time. What I'd like, I, I'll watch it. Go and talk to the your competitors. Have a conversation with them and make your decision there. Whatever it is, if you decide to manage, great. We'll find another team's commissioner. Okay. If you decide that you are going to be a commissioner, then, I, then I'll let you figure it out how to handle it with them. But okay. either way, I respect your decision. Thank you. I and I, as I say, I will make one very soon. What is she gonna choose? Emma is too good, but Emma should totally. So Emma called. She has a thing to tell us. Pick, commissioner, but still train them. <laughs> oh, to like work behind the back. Yes. And not over the phone. Oh yeah. But it's Emma, so well, I'll expect. And in the end, say I did it all along. PTSD. You're an idiot for making me choose. Come on, Emma, do it. I'm not sure if this is bad news exactly. Um, so obviously you guys know that I won the commissioner poll, uh, yes, which I did, which I am very uh, happy about but, uh, for a number of reasons. But of course, Tom really? not being commissioner is a is a huge part. Number one reason. Yeah. Um, one David Ayer away from yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tom yeah, being commissioner. Yeah, that was kind of nice actually because no one thought I was going to do it. Uh, it feels pretty good. But speaking of Christian, I uh, talked to him and he said that if I want to take the commissionership, then I can no longer be a manager. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I guess it kind of does, it doesn't is, it? It is a conflict. Yeah, oh, I know, it's definitely a conflict. Yeah. You should, you should right. absolutely do it. Yeah. Of course I mean, they're going to tell her to do yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big opportunity. Yeah. And but Emma's too good to do what I said she should do. Yeah. <laughs> It would make for great television. No, no. Think about where you started. You have yeah. been moving up the ranks. This leave, leave the bad guy thing to the professionals. I will. Oh. Andrew guy's doing all right. Strong. <laughs> oh, sorry, Chance. I love, I love you guys. You know that. Okay, cool. I won't lie. I'm 100% behind corruption. Yeah, we did. Spending money. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you guys are going to be making millions and millions of dollars in the next year. It's not like you guys are going to be making millions of dollars in the next year. You should be. So good. Did what I wanted to do as a manager, which isn't to say that there isn't more we could have done together. Why don't we still go by five club? Like yeah. 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 You've done, you've or they'll change, like, get, get a name change. From you asking me to I feel like I have to. to hear, yeah. There's no one more qualified to be a commissioner because you know what happens behind the scenes. 
Thanks. It's true. Yeah, yeah. she definitely is a, a perfect option. Together in terms of exactly, we are coming together, and you know, we will always have 2018. And now I can complain to you. Oh boy. Might need to close my DMs. Yeah. But we'll go and do it. Yeah, already. Already. yeah I'm just like, like creepy. That's like something you should have done already. Here we go. A lot, a lot of epilogue there. Catching us up into what's going on in the world of the commissioner. It's a shame though, but I still think she should play both sides. I'd be really cool yeah. if like, Emma went heel and just like, if, and not even heel, like tactic. I am Mark Ellis, a baby from House of Carrots. Mark rocking that USO, baby. Kill it with the comedy, Mark. In movies like Lord of the Rings, franchises like Star Wars, and some other fun sprinkled in there, heroes and villains. Damn, I forgot we have to play. Who knows all about that? Against chance. Cushing, but she has a formidable opponent here today. He is as tough as his last name is hard to pronounce. That would be Adam Lavik. Adam Lavik, the Lavik. game maker, is coming like to the energy match here. Now, this is a lot of events Euro. that happened Euro. to get us Euro. here. Euro. Now, Euro. Mike Euro. Kalinowski, Euro. the current Intergeekdom champion, kind of put himself in the championship match at the Spectacular Euro. against Mark Hanapi. He won the championship. Hey, there we go. Inception. Both Mark Hanapi and Jason. I kind of went all Italian with it. Hey, 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 oh, hey. That's all it's return. We don't know, but as of right now, no, sir. It is just pushing. Lavic, those are your two top spots. Rachel Cushing has been on the date with Destiny for that Inner Geekdom Championship since she debuted two years ago. She has wanted it, she's gotten close. She beat Mike Kalinowski in a one on one mm -hmm. Inner Geekdom yeah, match. That's, that's, Adam Lavic, we'll, we'll, we'll give you that one. The former champion, nah, Dr. Navarro, she'll come back. just narrowly lost it's to boomerang Mike method, man. in the tournament. She could swing back, so come back. Depends if he can block it or not. Here. Which he's got a main event very good chance. Wouldn't he be the winner in that case? No, because he, he went and got it. She just lost it and came back to win it. I've been close a number of times, and people aren't quite giving me the respect that I deserve for how much knowledge is inside my beautiful He's a big person. On the other side of the ledger, Rachel Cushing. It's like the movie Mr. Destiny. I'm not like on the web saying, like, he's big in the way like Shaq is a big person. Like like Donica, man. Donica's huge. She really wants to. Like McQueen. We need a big, a big, like, imposing guy. I'll tell you. You're even going to see it. Look at the interviews right now. Towering. Yeah, that's the best better word. <laughs> Here we go. Eric time. In the inner geekdom. This is some unfinished business for me. I've come pretty close to that inner geekdom belt. In fact, last year, I was in one of the most... Oh, that's, just, that's painful. Against the amazing it was exhausting, for sure, on ours, too. <sighs> but now I have to look forward. Every time I get a little email that says, hey, you're going to be competing against such and such person, I get pumped up. Because it means I got some work to do. Adam Flavik <laughs> beat the former champion, Hector Navarro. Sure did. He is on the map. And he I was off that day, though, you could tell. If I play pushing, that means I got to step up my game. I always remember the, 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 the little time they entered with Hector on his back. I have an idea. I have an idea. Whoever wins... I love Ken. I love Ken. Nerds watch. <laughs> until, you know, Ken saw the lights. Uh, that was until Ken saw the light. Join the right cause. He saw the darkness hidden in the light and rode that. Which is a good thing. For better or worse, Mike Kalinowski has an inner geekdom belt. It's going to be a knockdown. For better, I think you mean. There's no or. I keep forgetting chances here. Like, I know he's here, but chance. <laughs> chance. The Cobra. <laughs> One half of corruption. Oh, we got to play. Lots of respect. That was very nice. Lots of respect. Good on you. A common thread there. They both want Kalinowski. They <laughs> both want to beat Kalinowski. Cushing wants that title. She wants to be the second ever double belt to champion and the first double belt to with the inner geekdom. Love it. Adam Lavin yeah, wants a shot of redemption against Mike Kalinowski. He's, he's, it's like Kalinowski is fueling him to beat Cushing here. It's good because I need so those kinds I of reminders. I can't remember anything. I think there's something going on. You for notable accomplishments and you 
they say that time Luke teamed up with his dad. Thank you, Banner. Thing, or that time Frodo <laughs> brought that jewelry to the volcano. But as far as Rachel <laughs> Frodo Frodo brought that jewelry to the volcano, <laughs> what are their notable achievements over the years? Well, if you look at Adam Lavick, notable achievements are semifinalist in the Intergeekdom tournament, has defeated the former Intergeekdom champion in Hector Stern Navarro. Stern hatred for Kalinowski. Stern hatred. For Mike Kalinowski, uh, that's a notable. Hatred one thing, the stern. That's Kalinowski. Are they fit. developing a uh, Rachel Crabbery there? I mean, look at all the achievements that she has. I mean, she was reigning team champ year what, what? last year. Team. It'd be a good way to roll into the battle with Kalinowski year. as well. She has defeated uh, uh, so many he's different. He's got this hatred for him. For him. Sure. The showdown. She is already in her young career uh, a legend in the movie. I'm thinking WWE standards here. Eighteen hundred thousand wedges of gold at the. Showdown awards. <laughs> just kept awesome. happening. They were like, so it was kept happening. It, it, it was Guy and the Shy Wolves all night. Yeah. Yeah. Well deserved. That's true. All right. Yeah. So Mid's got it. Well well Mid's got it. Well I'm so happy Mid's got it. Are you ready? Prepared, sir. Fire at will. He was so surprised. He sat right in front of him. Same game. Movie trivia. Showdown. I wish we could be there every weekend. That'd be so cool. It's fun time. It's always a fun time. First, representing Hyper This is an AG movie. Great score, though. I got very acquainted with this theme because it's at the very beginning of our intro to the Incredibles reactions. So you may have times I had to listen to this beginning part over and over. Where is my super suit? Sorry, Adam, but the love is more so for the people putting a lot of effort into their matches. Entrances. Those are the ones that get remembered. That is true. The hey, my God. By the way, you coming out, doing the thing after Kalinowski, when Kalinowski comes out and he does the thing, and then you walk out and you do like the point to the camera, Record. Magic. <laughs> Beautiful. And then Ken with his meal. Uh, it just fits so well she is the for maneuvers through the curtain. Of the year, the Have you guys ever noticed mine where I just act surprised like I'm there? I come out and I look at them and I'm like, holy shit, like I can't believe this is going on. That's my thing. Because honestly, I'm shocked every time I walk through that curtain. It's natural. How we really feel walking through the curtain. Sounds like Lord of the Rings. Oh, it is. It is Lord of the Rings. I know. Oh, there you go. Yeah, save it. Save it for the big ones. Yeah, all right, I get that. I Championship matches, title bouts. Right. I get it. Title defenses. I do like this one a lot. Yep. Howard Shore. There it is. She's going to do it. Crusher! Yeah. Crusher! We were there when she actually pushed it. All over, that all over the floor. All over the floor. Huh? Interesting, she, she doesn't have her belt. Yeah, that's it. She's not fighting. You're right, she should come up. Yeah, even though it's not in her mouth. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a badge of honor. All right, good for you. You get to come out with it. Here we go, guys. So round number one. Here we go. Three rounds. The winner will play Mike Kalinowski on February 23rd for the Inner Geekdom Championship. Ready. Adam Lavick, you ready? Ready. Chance, you ready? Let's get ready, ready. to Schmodown! Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Andy, back to the future. Question one. <laughs> Question one comes from the world of Star Trek. Jesus. Which film opens with Captain Kirk trying to negotiate a peace treaty by presenting an artifact to a very small alien race called the Tinoxi? Oh, wait. I, uh... I have an uncle who's a Tinoxy. Do you? Half Tinoxy. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was just happy I said it right. Oh, my. Five. You get nervous during the every time. Every time. Every time. Four, three, two. I think it's Beyond. One. Rachel? Star Trek Beyond. Yes, it is. Damn Adam. it. Oh. I've played it. Search for Spock. I just, oh, I yeah. I, ju I just watched it. Right. Like I didn't first think first new ones. ones. I went show. old and yeah. I just get some ones I don't remember. Emma Fife flying in the oh, wow. team Emma championship. Fife. Oh, there's the belt. Sorry, guys. Look at this. Look, she's got her team championship belt. Was it just forgotten in that case? I'm assuming she just forgot it. All right. That's a kind of a uh, double whammy for Adam Lava. He missed the question and then he didn't really get the <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, here we yeah, go. I forgot about the whole scene and beyond. Comes from the world of Middle yeah. Earth. Not upper or lower, but Middle Earth. Your question is, 
in the Fellowship of the Ring, what kind of cave creature almost killed Frodo with a large spear in the burial chamber in Moria? Been to Moria many times. <laughs> you lying bastard. Five. <laughs> Did you think I was four, telling the truth? Yeah. It's a fictional three, place. I know, but I decided to. <laughs> Troll. You pinned it down. Adam Lark. I could order. Nothing. Uh, Rachel. Troll. Troll is. Oh, nice. Rachel Cushing. Troll in, in, in the dungeon. dungeon. I thought you wanted to know. Tuesday. All right, the MCU. Thank you. The MCU in Black Panther. <laughs> Who plays T'Challa's friend and elder statesman in Wakanda, Zuri. I would, I, oh I would damn! Like uh, Black Panther more than Avengers: damn. Infinity War, and it might be in the minority Five. there. I think so. Four, you're, you are still so good for three. anything. You know. two, two, one. Pens down, please. Forrest and Whitaker and Rachel. Forrest Whitaker. I put get out because that's not who was. Uh, <laughs> it's on the board. What's his name? Uh, Dana Kalia. Dana Kalia. We move on Boots. to the wild, wonderful world of Harry Potter. These are questions in the Harry this Potter universe. This might be universe. something I made mean, is, How many children did Arthur and Molly Weasley have in the Harry Potter films? Ooh. That's a question. Yeah. It makes me realize that I'll never compete in this. I'll tell you why. Yeah. I've watched every Harry Potter, and I've still missed this. Uh, Recently. You, you are a Harry five, Potter movie. I am. I just yeah. watched them again with my daughter. Four. Yeah. Three. And I still missed it. Two. Good. One. Seven. Pens down. Adam. Five? Incorrect, Rachel. Seven. That's it. Yep. It is I feel seven. Like it was five in the film. They didn't talk about the other Six in the film. It's six in the film. One doesn't show up. Because the, what's his next Charlie. The jackass one is in the DC. first one. Showing oh, them their rooms and stuff. Percy. He's, right. he's in the right. second one, too, I think. Dent in the Dark Knight. Oh, okay, you hit that dent. Oh. Dent. You put a dent. I put a dent. Let's go. Talk about him quite a bit. You got it. You got it. Five. You got it. Think about it. The core. Three. To Paycheck. John Rachel. Aaron yeah. Eckhart. Yep. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay. Five, two. With a little help from me. Five, two. Next question. Is that Number my first one? In the world of heroes and villains. In 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film. Of course. What classic board game were Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo playing at the farmhouse when Leonardo interrupted them? Heroes and villains. This is a, okay. Also, and Loaded Weapon 1. Which, by the way, I would have challenged that whole loaded weapon Very question. Good. Answer yeah. should well, have been loaded weapon five, one. Four. Complete title. Three. Two. One. Adam. Joe Pursuit. Pursuit. No, Rachel. I guess Candyland. Going with Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> uh, you wrote you challenge. You wrote Trivia Pursuit. Here. Next question is. It's there. From the I DCE. wiped it off. There's no help. Trivial Pursuit. Or whatever it's called. Just mad we kicked yours and Kalinowski's ass in board games. <laughs> by what name? Does the pirate that becomes an enemy to Arthur go by? Hey, what who is this? Is uh, it, I know name? That was a big stickler for not calling it the DC. By what name, name he goes by? I'm going by his handle. handle. Roxy, for sure. Four. Three. Ass. I she's here today. I heard it. Two. <laughs> one. Pens down. Black Mantle. Black Manta. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Black Manta. Yes, it is. Because so that, that probably wasn't his real name, but. But yeah, but it's his name. Yeah, the name he went by. Six to three, Rachel enjoyed Did they ever say his name? Cushion? I think they said it. Into your well, no, there's a whole thing about it in the beginning. This is I got three. Of ten. You got one? The is in Star Wars. You should. The Galaxy of Star Wars. Okay. What is the name of the planet where Anakin, Padme, and Obi-Wan are chained up in a coliseum? Now, this one I would have got. Do you uh, I do. I think I uh, would have gotten it as well. You know, episode nine. Could go this well. uh, Aaron, five, it. four, three, three think about it. two, and I'll tell you the one, Adam Lowe. Geonosis. 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 Oh, it's what planet? <laughs> so, I wrote what movie. They were on planet attack Adam's in the club. Back, so Adam's keeping himself Shut up. <laughs> he's making sure that he's staying until he's only got three I'll points down I'll just keep drinking now, this. And that's a lot better than what yeah, started that. Right, here we go. Next question. I'm going to know a point of championship, but. In Deadpool 2, who plays the hero, Bedlam? Five, four, three, two, one. Terry Crews had his muscles. In Deadpool 2, who plays the hero, Bedlam? Is 
Five. Good round of yep. questions. Four. Yeah, you're trying to three, think of who's in his team. Two, yeah. And one, it's Rachel. been a while if you don't watch. Terry Crews. He's Terry Crews. That's yeah. correct. The wonderfully Jack Terry Crews. Need it. A little bit there. So we got two points now. Seven, five. Ooh, get, get within and one. Next question, Mark. Final question of the round. You're going to reach deep into the good old proverbial mixed bag is your last category. Mixed bag. This could come from anywhere. And your question is, what 2012 comic book film was a reboot of a 1995 film and featured the tagline, Judgment is Coming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Coming back. I'm going to so get one, y'all. Five, do is yeah. hang in in round Four, one. Three, two, one. Adam? Dread. Dread. You got it, Rachel. Oh, Dread. damn it. I didn't okay. the whole oh, so you, <laughs> final. Rachel, you won't even get that one right. Four, Would you read? Right. 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 Why? Toe, toe here, eight I I to six. And again, talk about Judge Dread like all the time. Looked like Rachel was about to just take it away. You, you picked the wrong Dread movie. Shots. I don't I quote it very often, though, but I talk about those it. early punches, and then they both come back know. with the last question. Hershey, yeah. Diane Lane, Judge Dread. That's you betrayed the law. You have to cross your T's and dot your Q's. Good call there. But now we get into the real round. This could sometimes make or break an entire match. What are the rules? Okay, so not, not, not like an impossible that deficit. Well, you He's down two points. You can catch him. Yeah, he can catch him. Adam, go for it. All right, Adam's okay. going to spin from the wheel, and here we they go. They play from Adam. behind. Good move, good move. I would have done the same thing. That he got late in good spin, good spin. And he gave it a early spin. No, he's using magical spiritual powers to stop him. <laughs> Summoning the spirits. Make sure that you stay within reach, and he has. He's only two points behind. And the real question: If he hits something, I'm going to go to Damn, that wheel is oiled up right now. That's still going. Star Wars. Ooh. That's pretty good. Though. Star, you know, Star Wars. Ooh. Star Wars. Ooh. Star Wars. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good. Let's do it. Let's play some Star Wars. It's been a while. <laughs> everyone's everyone's <laughs> booing him. Oh. Let's see. Star Wars. Okay, here we go. Adam, question number one, five questions. Here's number one. The chromium armor of this character was initially designed for Kylo Ren. Oh, Captain Phasma. Really? I think so. Chromium kind of gives it away. Correct for two points. Yeah. Right. Sound like he said Phasma. Huh? He did say Phasma. Did he? Yeah. On Camino, you know. how many clones were said to be, quote, ready for war? 10,000. 200,000. Two hundred thousand. That's correct. Damn, Rachel! That's, that's, that's a good call. Good I don't want to be fighting against that. Look at her. She's Beach tapping into her she's computer. Just focused. She's tapping into the computer. What was the name mm -hmm. of the most famous pod race event? Ben to Eve. De De no. The Boonta Eve Boon classic. Boonta Eve classic. Is it classic? Is it a Boonta Eve classic? I would have only said Boonta Eve. Ooh. Multiple choice. Is it A. Dune Sea Rally? B, Boon to Eve Classic. C, Most Icely Run. D, Anchorhead 500. Yeah. The Boon to Eve Classic. For one point. He's now within one again. I'm pushing. She reads Hell up of the lead with that steal. Two questions. In a new Without home. multiple What choice. does 3PO think the Jawas are going to do to him and R2? Melt them? Melt us down? I think so. Sma they'll be smashed into who knows what. That's incorrect. Oh. I do. Yeah. Let's tell them multiple choice. Five. Broken yeah. up into parts and sold? Melt them down. Yeah, yeah. that's a telephone. Yeah. Yeah. He's worried about breaking if up you the pieces. Because that could have also yeah. been Jabba the Hutt that okay. he was worried about. Who voices Rio Durant, the four-armed Ardinian pilot on Beckett's crew? Johnny Favre. John Favreau. John Favreau. Correct. For I two forgot points. who the hell Beckett was. Now I'm now like, this is Beckett in Star Wars? Beckett. Tobias. Tobias Beckett. Yeah. Yeah. Woody Harris. Is that his first name? Something? Tobias, she yeah. He just blew him himself. Which I don't know if there's any more here. She is not, but we will find out. <laughs> Check out our reaction to a lot of opponent's choice. That really puts the pressure on Adam. Woody Harrelson, Gene. I want to see the Woody Harrelson, Gene. I think that is. Yeah. All right, Rachel, here you go. You get three wishes, kid. What is it? What's it going to be? The hair. She's looking for Harry Potter. <laughs> and then Randy Quaid's in the back. Yeah, whatever, whatever you say, Mr. Munson. Oh, God. <laughs> out of the way, but, you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And yeah. people looking up to Rachel right now. It's a belt. So you're up. kind of weighted down and hit the Harry Potter. Okay. That's what she's looking oh, you're right down your shoulders. Oh, yeah, if you wear it. Oh, snap. I... Scores and soundtracks is what I would give her. So now 
I would go score the soundtrack. Yeah. So or Star Trek. Who did this? This is all you. Yeah, like he's looking at it. But man, scores and soundtracks or movie release dates. Or DCEU. No, don't. I think he would go. No, I think he would because he was part of the five way too. Yeah, that's his. I know, but I wouldn't give him release dates to anybody. Really? I mean, that's yeah. She uh, wasn't in it. Yeah, she wasn't in it, and it's beneficial to him. But still, and now, and this is where I hand the reins over to Vanessa. Release dates for IG. Release dates for IG is really good. I got one in the entire hour. I really got one. Yeah, one question. Yes. Movie release dates. Your first one. Harry Potter. 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 Five, four, Damn, Harry Potter in their re release person? schedule. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix was released in what year? December 2. 2007. Two points. That's right. <laughs> that is Rachel's second. Bad move, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, it was Harry Potter. Next There's is only like they studied five, geek movies. The Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies was released in 2013. What year? 2013. 14. 14. 14. 14. Was it 14? It was 14. I just guess. All right, this one. Howard the Duck oh, was released 86? in the summer of It is 86. I'm guessing, by the way, again. Five. It's, Multiple choice. It's like a, it is feels it a, like a guess. B, 1985. Six. C, 1986. It is 86. Or D, 1988. 86? One point wow, for Rachel. I would have just guessed it without multiple choice because it's the same thing as me going to multiple choice. I'm guessing there too. Two more questions, Rach. Your penultimate one. Ang Lee's Hulk was released in 2003. 2003. Damn, see? Felt right is always a year off. Your last question in the world of movie release dates provided by Adam Wavik. Pamela Anderson's Barbed Wire oh, was released in 98? I think it's 96. I think it's 97, honestly. Is it A, 1996? I'll say 97. B, 1994. C, 1997. Or D, 1991. When did Showgirls come out? They were pretty close. Five, <laughs> four. 94? I think Showgirls was 94. 97? That is also oh. incorrect by a year, 1996. Wow, so Rachel Cushing has a very strong round. Our liar. She's in it, apparently. It's Not like, good. He's like, well, shit, I should have picked that. that. <laughs> this is the thing with, like, movie really hit by IG is only, like, 150-plus movies. Yeah, that's true. So that's actually a pretty easy category to study for. This is the guy who knows movie really states. I don't know. Movie really states as well. It's frankly hit. It worked. It means it she did not clean the board completely, and it was a good strategy. And we've seen Lavic come back in the third round. He did it against Kalinowski. He avoided a TKO and forced Kalinowski to score points in the third. Can he do the same thing? Let's see if he can do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. That could happen. Let's see. Hey, she could happen. Check it out. We're actually in the outfield. Each competitor is going to give us a second. Go 7, 8, 2. 7, 8, and 2 for the crusher and for the haymaker. <laughs> it's just three two numbers. It's been eight. He's all quite compelling. <laughs> three, six, and 14. Good nope, choice. Not what I would have chosen. Adam, In case you forgot, right. Allen versus Meyer. This way. Three questions here. Try to turn it around. All right. So your first category was category number three. What's ours? Three eleven. It was in the seven, category nine, of nine, villains. And something else. I can't remember. All right. Two points. What is the name of the monstrous creature that uh, Hulk shit. fights at the end of the Incredible Hulk? The Abomination. The Abomination. The Abomination. Played by Tim Roth. Neil, Neil Blonsky. What if you could have said Neil Blonsky got away with it? Because that was his name. Now you need yeah, that's true. your three pointer, which is category six. Category six. Lord of the Rings. Oh, Jesus. Lord of the Rings. Okay. Where does the Fellowship take refuge after they escape in the Mines of Moria? Oh. You've been before. Big time. Elf Town. I don't know this one, actually. What's the Elf Town? What's the Elf City? Is that Rivendell? Fine. I'll say Riverdale. It's, it's not Rivendale. I'll say Riverdale. Riverdale. <laughs> Riverdale. The answer is Lothorian. 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 Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thanks, Rachel. Sure. Lothorian, <laughs> you dummy. Sorry. All right, so now. That's how you put it out there. This. Adam has to hit this five pointer. If he does, it bounces back to Cushing. If not, Cushing. Rachel Cushing is going to the dance and trying to become the second double belted champion in Schmodown history because she will face Mike Kalinowski. If. 
Adam misses it. Here is the question, Adam, category 14. Category 14, that is from the category of who said it. Oh, jeez. Who said it? Oh, jeez. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, who says the following line? You may not like him, Minister, but you can't deny Dumbledore's got style. Kingsley. What if I need the full name? Because I don't know his last name. <laughs> ben Kingsley. Ben Kingsley. And you Damn, Rachel! Wow, playing from behind was not what you wanted to do. Dominant. At full force. Yeah. Shackleball. Shackleball. Is sure. it Shackleball? Uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> Competitors showing the class that they showed in the pre-interview after a heated match. I give a lot of credit to Adam for hanging oh, yeah. in there. You got to give Rachel something to work with on the wheel. He gave his best effort, but Rachel waiting for her turn in round three did not need it because Adam, a really tough series of questions there that he drew. Rachel Cushing's knowledge is just, it's just unreal. I mean, even when she unreal. gets opponent's choice, unreal. It's, it's not a sure thing because she just knows so much. And had a new drip, drip, or had a new lead singer. Won. She wants that unreal. match with Kalinowski. Had this mega for a lead the singer? Unreal. For the showdown <laughs> yeah, we know. We were there. Twenty-third live streaming, and you guys cool. can get it as well. Wayne's world quite a bit too. The current team champion, Unreal. looking to become the inner geekdom champion against the reigning champion Mike the Killer Ko Kalinowski. It's going to be an exciting time on February twenty-third. Who's announcing that? That would be us. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Dad. And what are here today? Now we have an exclusive interview with both the winner, Rachel, and the loser, Adam, with our own Roxy Stryer. Take it away, Roxy. 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 What's up, guys? Roxy Stryer here. Can Scott I come? Adam. That's what she was saying to. Just lost the number one uh, contender spot. Can I come? She's like, yeah, yeah. Lose, here you go. No one there you go. lose to him, right? <laughs> Uh, Can I come? 100 agree. Uh, I, I think I think everyone going to this match based on everyone, all the commotion was like, okay, I know I know who everyone is rooting for. It's fine because she's amazing. Rachel's incredible. She's been in this for so long and I she crushes every single match that she plays in. So she's amazing. Right? I like the way it is. Against you out there. The funny thing is, is it's oh, just a nice probably a different set and repeat the same lighting they used last time. Back here in the but first like round, you only win the second round right down by a right. couple of points. You know. Were you getting excited, thinking, maybe okay, maybe I can actually do this? Maybe. Well, spin, the, the wheel is interesting because I feel like there are definitely categories that I am stronger at, but when you're competing against someone as good as Rachel, that becomes very limited because then I have to think, okay, what, what am I just a little bit better at? And I couldn't, re I truthfully could not think of a category, movie release dates, I thought maybe there's a chance. I felt like with everything else, I think she would bring her in. So that, that was the reason yeah, why I went too. with that. Yeah, me too. Because that's what I'm better at than movie Are you release looking at any other slice on the wheel, that? or did you know immediately movie release dates? I was terrified. I didn't know what to pick. Scores and uh, I was going to bounce sure. around either between yeah. DC, maybe Star Wars, or, or movie release dates. But ultimately, I felt like I mean, we would never movie release dates is the one category that I feel like, just based on matches I've watched, that people know the least so i felt that was kind of like my the most confident choice that i could make i don't know if it's, it's a fair guess I just, no like, there wasn't nothing there was nothing it's <laughs> well you gave harder and effort. regular congratulations and i'm sure this is not the last that we're seeing of you in the inner geekdom no no yeah. i will come back as soon as christian sends me another email <laughs> Which be we get those emails too oh i think he just got it yep just think, now. there you go yes yeah, so i got an email emails. just now while we're recording what's up guys Drop <laughs> and we are here with your new inner geekdom number one contender Rachel the Crusher Cushing. How are you feeling, Rachel? I'm assuming on cloud nine right now. Yes and no, I am, but I've been here before, so it's like this was That's this was true. step one. <laughs> this was about getting back to the basics. Um, as Christian no mentioned, offense. I didn't do a Hold big up. entrance. I said I hope you win. No she she robbed your boy of his title. Also knuckling down, and it's about very possible to happen though. It's not like it's not possible. It's not like it's a possibility. I'm telling you, it's not gonna happen. Depends how things you land. You're clearly the favorite to win. Did you let that get to your head, or did you just try to ignore all of that and come to play? She's gonna, That's definitely she's gonna put up a hell of a fight. The, um, the con One side for the ages. of being good at this game is the expectation. Um, not just the expectation that the fans put on me, but that I put on myself. So um, another goal for this year is to stop doing that. Uh, one match at a time, one question at a time, have fun, um, know that I know this because I'm a really big geek, hello. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I was a little nervous, but I also knew that I knew this stuff, so.
you're obviously holding your team belt right now, and now that you're going for this inner geekdom belt, do you feel like you are ready to be a double belt holder? Here's hoping. It'd be cool to see I it that way, too. Like, inner geekdom and team. Because double hey, belt always. Hey, Jeff, is it? How you doing, Rox? I'm okay. What'd you call him? Dole Whip? Let me stop you right there. I'm going to need this for a second. Oh. Excuse me. Okay. Rachel. Let me stop you right there. First of all, they say congratulations. He's gonna kill it with kindness, that like he always match. does. I actually, you chose you're a champ because the way you stopped that match because you knew a question. Phenomenal. So now you're facing off against me. This is something you said from the beginning that you want this belt right here, and I said from the beginning that I want this belt right here. What difference does he has it? So when you win and you get, you're not gonna win, Rachel. <laughs> you are the reason I have this belt. Because of what went down throughout the tournament. Yeah, I stuttered, I stumbled, and I started a little bit there, but I came back, and I took what was mine. So let me tell you this, Rachel. You and I, we faced off a year ago. It was all fun and games. There were two little faces out there having fun, dressing up in costumes. You're going back to basics. I went back to basics. I am a different man than I was a year and a half ago. I am unstoppable. So you want this belt? Come and get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you saying something? Yeah. <laughs> I was admiring my belt there. Okay. So, wow. Okay. Yeah. I right. see you. See you on the 23rd. We see you, right Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Undercut. Get it. Undercut. I have nothing to say about you. Uh, you are watching. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, right, Mike. You need to talk to him. Get out. Damn. Live February 23rd. Hey, Chance is here. <laughs> see you there. Inside look at wow. what his partner so thinks he, of all that. Did you That's perfect. Anything less, Mike Kalinowski <laughs> crashing the interview with Rachel Cushing, and it was interesting to see Roxy and Mike paired up again there too. I haven't seen that in a long time, but I loved my, fa I loved the interaction. Rachel Cushing was just staring at that belt. Mm -hmm. Kalinowski, she didn't even listen to better at the shit Mike talk saying. Like she just looked at that belt, said, and uh, uh, he's just going to get better as time goes on too. Now mm -hmm. we're going to see that because he'll know where to dance in his head and his shit talk. took out Kalinowski the last. Practice that's right, she could be one of the very few double belted champs to ever live in Schmodown lore. And as far as Adam Lava goes, he ain't going anywhere. He's an inner geekdom player. You do not want to be sitting on that white hot spotlighted desk across from him because he knows his stuff in a variety of categories. Rachel, too tough for him today. And like we said before, February 23rd is when it's going to be Rachel versus Mike for the belt. That's well, going to be a whole lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And Rachel Cushing is back in the rotation. Not only does she have that dance with Mike Kalinowski, her and her partner. Clark Wolf are now defending the titles against critically acclaimed. We found out last week that that's who they're going to be playing. Oh, boys. Be she's she's boys. Back, and now she's going to be playing. She's going to be trying to win a title. She's going to be trying to defend a title. So I, she's uh, the one of the best we've ever seen and right away on the path to winning. Who knows more about Howard the Duck? Find out February 23rd. <laughs> and for all the way I'll ask that question. Mike. Mike. Just head to TriviaSD.com. We have great articles there. Has he been training where you can mm -hmm. get on Howard the Duck? Hey, Rachel! He, he, he might have been training on Howard the Duck. That's awesome. For everybody who is continuing to watch this show, to, for whether you're getting the live stream, which is super important to continue the growth of the league, whether it's joining the Patreon, everyone who's involved, like this is the this was a really cool thing that you guys should all realize that you, the people out there, you are keeping this show going. You are the ones on Patreon. You the ones watching the this, You are the ones who are sharing with you your friends, telling your friends, everywhere commenting, letting like you people know. It's to have crazy. Trivia nights based around the Schmodown. Thank you. Thank you from everybody here. Thank you from the Would this be considered a trivia shows. night? Thank you very much. We're hanging out together and drinking. I guess. That's, That's why I did so bad. Sure. And we'll see you next time. I was drinking just as much now. Hit that back. I don't know how much you were drinking before I got here. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That's a very interesting idea. I know. I'm just to get your boys back in the shape. Oh, the lioness. The I lioness is so back. Hell yeah. yeah. I love that she's there. I guess I'm going to to training camp at some <laughs> point. So, yeah, definitely seeing uh, Grace Hancock back in the fold is awesome. I'm so yes. glad that she's there. Yes. When she was at the Schmodown Awards, we were like, Grace, we really miss you. We wish you were back. And then it happened that night. That's when they brought it to the forefront. Yeah. I'm really excited that she's back. I thought that she was definitely a part of that lines then and now with canon corruption and bringing her back to that too. It's just an extra layer that they can add to it, which I really, really like.
Speaking of corruption, damn, he's right here. Right here. Chance Ellison, the Cobra, member of KO. You got Grace, you got Ken, you got Mike, and Mike's holding some gold as well. And you guys had a hell of a battle to get to your chance to get gold. And granted, it was thwarted, but damn, is it not very much in the grasp of you guys to go battle it out right now, especially because you got... Kalinowski battling it out on the Insta Instagram, Instagram, inner geekdom <laughs> front, battling with Rachel Cushing, uh, and you know you guys can totally sneak in. And if they could dethrone Rachel Cushing of you know that chance to get the belt, and if you guys came around the other end to try and so take the title, and let's say they lost it to critically happen. acclaimed, and then you guys are going after critically acclaimed, like that's a lot of insult to inju uh, injury. That's how you see a stable start to destabilize, much like happened with the Patriots and of course the Lions Den, and you saw it with the Horsemen the first time with Top Ten, um, just kind of blah, it all falls apart. And then you see them kind of recalibrate. I hope that doesn't happen with the Fife Club, especially because the Fife Club just lost Emma Fife. And if she's playing it the, uh, the way where she's running both ends and it actually works out, because guess what? You can never stop me from being with this team. They're family. Like, we're not breaking up. If they take I'm not. From Vin Diesel. Yeah, if I, it may mean that she's not coming out with them in an entrance, but it doesn't mean that she isn't going to stop trying to help them win on the outside of her, you know, handling her commissioner duties. So it definitely is, like, it's interesting to see how it's all going to play out. And this was kind of like a, a fresh look at to what's to come in those two avenues, Inner Geekdom and, of course, what's going on with Critically Acclaimed and the Five Club, the Shire Wolves. Mm. Was that a lot to lay on you right there? Was that, was that quite a bit? Sorry. Yeah, a I spent, like, last night, like, three hours just watching... Attitude Era WWF. Yeah, <laughs> because that's I, why he has oh, all so these storylines in his yeah. head now. It's definitely the best way to approach it. You know who else got it that way too? Uh, all the belts. All the belts did a great job at breaking it down in terms of what's going on with the uh, the new storylines and stuff. The newer WWE. Mine is definitely locked down in Attitude Era, but you could see how things definitely are playing out. Uh, in terms of storyline and what has come before, especially with the commissioner. Commissioner. Commissioners of the leagues are definitely uh, a prominent thing in WWE. It's very common. So oh, yeah. seeing it, how it's playing out here, like, I, oh, so many ways that Christian could take this with what has already happened before and wrestling. Wrestling. But yes. your boy, your boy's going up for that battle against Rachel. Yeah, boy, Mike, he's got a, he's got a force coming to him, but... Uh, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter who won this match. He's going to retain. That's all there is to it. He is going work. to retain. It's not going to happen. He puts, <laughs> gonna come he out. puts, he puts in work. Go. She's going to come out fighting. So you know they might going to come out fighting? He puts oh, in work. Oh, he's going to come out fighting he puts too, in training. but Rachel's going to be on top. I'm often the one holding the bag for him, but he's... <laughs> <laughs> trust me, he's... Like, don't we? He is going to retain the belt. Corruption is going to retain our power. So well, that's, all, that's all there is to it. As you can see right now, though, the Shire Wolves are fairly unstoppable. Look at that award ceremony. How many uh, awards did Kalinowski go up and win? He, how many did he get robbed of? At least two. Maybe three. <laughs> I don't know, man. His loss uh, to Mara Kanopic definitely put a chink in okay, the that, that, that was a fluke. Dummy and you, that was a fluke. Hey. We know something about flukes. <laughs> <laughs> fluke is the most common fish in the sea, so if you go out fishing for a fluke, you might catch one. And that's what we did with uh, Critically Acclaimed. And you know, a fluke can have a big impact on your legacy. And Critically Acclaimed, as badass as they are and as high ranking they're getting in terms of their match numbers, match wins, and of course their contentions for gold, um, they still got that one. And that one is like bitey. And that one is what crippled him to getting the award at the Schmodown Awards versus Alex Damon. Because Alex Damon and had no cripples like Alex Damon. Boom, boom, boom. And granted, yes, it would have been a better, more fruitful outcome had he battled Sam Witwer, but he didn't fight Sam Witwer. That's, that's how the cripples That's the crumbled. problem. He didn't fight Sam. Oh, but man, if there was some... He beat Ken twice. And Ken and Witwer, like, this close. So, Damon, good. man. I'm, Damon's my boy. Uh, but, but, you know, who, who did Witwer beat? Damon. Yeah, but he also beat John Campio, so... <laughs> <laughs>
But either way, that was a hell of a match. I'm so happy that Rachel Cushing is pushing forward. What did you guys think of this match? Let us know down in the comments below. More so, what did you just think of the conversation that we had throughout the entire thing? I couldn't keep up. That's why I was quiet. <laughs> but she can, though, because she's going to right next when we go into this next battle coming up. But either way, thank you guys for watching this reaction. You can like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking. Jin Joint Senior with Eric. Keep the party. Fill the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon. Get us where we need to go. Chance Ellison, where can everybody find you? Find me on Twitter and Instagram at ChanceWars underscore 91. Check out uh, my personal YouTube channel, Chance the Critic. Check out my podcasts, uh, Notorious by Chance, PWCA, and uh, Serious Study, which will be dropping sometime before Shazam comes out. Everything he just said, I have no clue, but if you <laughs> want to find it, it's down in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye! Bye.